everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nicole and I talk everything about luxury, travel and lifestyle. And if this is what you enjoy as well, I would love it if you joined my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button and also pressing the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Today I will be doing my top 6 best low-key luxury items and I was inspired to do this by Isabel Styles video and I will link her video in the description box. This tag was actually started by Tabby Violet and I will link her video and channel in the description box if you haven't already watched her video. I have also tagged a few lovely ladies that I have met on YouTube and I will link their names in the description box below. If you would like to join this very fun tag, please feel free to leave your name in the comment section below and I will include your name in the tag as well. So let's get started. The very first item that I want to feature is my Goyard Sack & Joe Mini but not in this print but on the leather side of the bag. So this is reversible so I have actually switched out the monogram side to the leather side and for the leather it is just a simple red colour and there is the logo here that is printed very small and you can't really tell unless you really zoom into it but I find that this is one of my go-to low-key luxury items that I reach for. I have actually done a what's in my bag video of this Goyard and I will put the link up here or in the description box if you haven't watched it yet. And this is just so versatile and I love that I can always switch it out. So whenever I am feeling low-key and I don't really want something that's very in your face, this is one item that I reach for. The next brand that I'm featuring might not be very known to everyone but it is the Mona Madeline Strap Bag and this is in the beautiful colour Prussian Blue and inside it is bourbon. So this is actually my first bag from Mona. If you didn't already know, Mona is actually the first trunk maker even earlier than Louis Vuitton and the reason why I love Mona and why I decided to buy a bag from them is because of the expert craftsmanship as well, like Hermes. Mona bags are made all by hand and by a single artisan. They are not factory made at all and you can see that the stitching and the lining and the colours are all so beautiful and they also do innovate a lot of their colours. Currently for their hardware, I do know that they use mostly palladium. For gold, they do have bags in gold hardware, however, it is more difficult to come by. So I have inquired on another bag that I am eyeing and whether it comes with gold hardware, but sadly that bag still does not come with gold hardware. They do not make it with gold hardware. So if I do want that bag, I would have to make a special order. I just love this bag, especially wearing it crossbody on the shoulders. It is a very pretty bag and a very unique bag as well. You can see that the style is kind of like um, a pyramid style triangle thing. I, I don't know what I'm saying, but it's just so versatile. It fits so much and it is just a really, really gorgeous bag. And I love what Mona is doing now. In the recent two years, they have been rebranding and bringing out more designs and also making their brand more known to people. And yes. The next four items that I will be featuring is from my favorite brand, Hermes. And I know that Hermes is known for their Birkins, Kellys. When you tell someone Hermes, they think of those two bags or even the constant. And those bags are very loud. When you carry it, people know what you are carrying. So this was the reason why I wanted to feature Hermes to show you that not everything from Hermes is very loud. And there are definitely low-key items that you can find in Hermes. So the very first thing I want to feature from Hermes is actually this earring. And it is a simple gold earring. 
but it is actually the O Kelly earring. So I bought this earring because I love how fun it was. This is the packaging of the O Kelly earrings. You can see that there is the leather add-on as well as the Hermes signature lock. I will insert a picture of how it looks like with the lock here. It is a very versatile earring. I love that you can add the leather side to it or just the lock or even just wear it as a gold hoop like this. The next item is this double tour bracelet. It is in the color Rouge Tomate and it is in gold hardware. I love this because it features the signature Hermes lock and it is just super low-key it's not like the click clack bracelets where the H is staring right at you in the face it just features this lock that is signature to their bags like the Birkin or Kelly and it is a stunning accessory to go with any outfit as well okay my battery died <laughs> so I am continuing this after lunch the second last are these gorgeous white sneakers and these are from Hermes so these are the Voltage sneakers the reason why they are low-key is because it is just in a super simple white and there is the H logo at the side here and there is the word Hermes behind on the pink soles I don't know if you guys can see and I just love these sneakers because one thing, they do have a platform which makes me look even taller and these sneakers from Hermes are just so comfortable. I have worn these a couple of times already and so far I haven't had any blisters or just um, or discomfort when I wear these. It is just really really comfy to wear these and they are a little bit more dressy so I do sometimes wear these sneakers to work. Now for the last item and it is my Hermes hair bag and this is the vibrato style. And the reason why I say this is low key aside from having this huge H is because the hair bag is actually meant to be like the Hermes Kelly. It is definitely a more affordable version of the Kelly and a different thing is it does have this back pocket behind which I find that it is a lot more convenient compared to the Kelly. So usually when I carry this bag, I will leave my phone some of my cards and my airpods behind here because it is just so accessible I can just easily unzip and just take whatever I need and yeah I do really really recommend for people who are just starting out into luxury to buy a her bag because I find that it is just a classic silhouette of the Kelly but at the same time, it is definitely more affordable and because it is canvas, I am not too worried about getting the material scratched. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! My shoe, you're not my shoe. Oh no, you cannot. I, can, I know why your face is laugh one. Is that a boy's one? He's recording. <laughs>